M0FXB TS2000. Let's run the ARCP2000 radio control software. Just scroll to the bottom, the link's in the description. Click this link and it goes straight to your downloads just here. And I have got the code for you to activate it as well, which I will put in the description. It's a lovely radio, the TS2000. And the software is very good because one model, the B2000, did not have a screen. So they needed to make some really good software. So it is very good. So we'll go yes. And then we're going to go click OK. Let that run. Now, I don't get the radio until tomorrow morning. But I thought, well, we can still do this soft with software program or video. Go next. Agree. Next. And there's a universal code that I'm going to be using here. Possibly when they discontinued the model, they just let the software go for free. But it used to come in the box with the radio anyway. So just go next, 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 and you'll get a shortcut eventually. finish so it doesn't launch so what we'll do is go to the start just here and it's called ARCP 2000 just there this is where it wants the code and I'll I'll paste this into the description so it's 200k55 uh, and you can get this on Google AV Tango Fox Stop. Like I said, there it fires up like so. So I, I have used it, but it was such a long time ago. Now I can't, oops, it just vanished then. I can't use it until I connect to the radio. Well, let's just have a quick look at it. Obviously, you've got power on button there, connect button. It's not going to connect. Uh, we just quickly zip through obviously the screen display here that's going to be fantastic on this on this uh, you know on my pc basically and the radio is just going to sit here just near me uh, so if you're not familiar with the kenwood ts2000 it's the best shack in the box ever made it's vhf uhf six meters hf bands satellite mode I think there's a crossband function in there. Mm, I'm not going to swear to that, uh, but it's shack in the box, 100 watt, and look at the front of it. It is, it's, it's like the sleekest design you can ever think of, and it's got a built-in antenna tuner as well. It's got two independent VFOs, so you can you can play with HF and at the same time listen to your local repeaters. Very easy to program as well, and it's got you know DSP features. So just quickly look around here. You've got the RF gain, AF gain, squelch sliders just here uh, menu vscan multi pct uh, rit xit pretty sure, does this device record i can't remember so voice uh, pf operation rxm dspm lsp up all the band all the modes there lower side band upper side band cw and the back of this radio have you seen the back of this radio and all the connections that are on this device let's just go scroll down here there's some actual photographs here of the inside as well. Very classy device, M60 base mic there. And there's the back there, just packed with connections. It's actually got four antenna connections, two for HF, uh, one for 70 sems, one for two meters. And then at the bottom there, you've got the RS232 connector as well. And, you know, AC2, it's all there itemized. And the tail that's sticking out is for the 23 centimeter, or when you've got the 23 centimeter, module which does need to be installed by the factory or possibly uh, an engineer who knows how to set it all up so yeah loads of functions we'll be tinkering with all this we've got up and down band tune here um, virtual knobs at the at the top there control radio vfo mode it just goes on and on so this video is just to show you how easy it is, it is to install to copy and paste the code for you and the link to download this so if you've got a ts2000 and you think oh i don't really use it much dig it out um a lot of people are going retro now they're digging out their old icom 706s their 857s 897s ts2000 they're digging them out and they're realizing it just because they don't have a a waterfall and c4 fm and d star and all the rest of it 
doesn't mean they're not amazing radios to use. Dig them out because they don't make them like they used to. Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. 73. Please hit the like, subscribe, join my YouTube channel, become part of our community, and let's all help each other to use our radios and just chat to our friends because I go on my ham radio um, equipment every day and I talk to many hams every day. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm number one. I am a ham radio operator. YouTube is just me. I happen to be filming everything that I do so that I can refer back to it and remember how to use my radios. And the fact that everyone benefits, and I've, I've had, um, I think, so like 17 million views and I've got 40 odd thousand subscribers in just a few years. Um, and it won't be long before it's 100,000 subscribers um, is, is actually quite selfish because it's actually me helping myself. Um, and then, and then uh, by saving the, the videos so I know how to use my own radios and then everyone else and I've made so many friends and I get probably 30 messages a day thanking me for, for helping, the, helping them to, to use their radios although ultimately I was helping me so bye for now. So